Whit Fraser, CBC News, Ottawa. And that's National Update for tonight. For CBC News, I'm Knowlton Nash. Now stay with us for regional news, weather and sports. News Final continues. Ford of Canada warns its workers they'll be out on strike this fall if they don't agree to concessions. The workers don't feel threatened. We, we're ready. We're ready to go on strike. No concessions at all? None. There was a meeting between developer Bill Doherty and the city administrator about the city center hotel project today, but we'll have to wait until next Monday to find out what was discussed. Can you tell us, Mr. Payne said you had a good meeting. Does that mean construction will be resuming? The stairs there. Okay. Well, we have comments, Mr. Being blind may be a handicap to those who can see, but John Coggins is blind and he doesn't let it slow him down. The Stanley Cup Series goes back to Vancouver with the Canucks down a two to nothing. The Expos and the Blue Jays win. We'll have details on those and other stories right after these messages. Club 240 is proud to present the Cardin Circus at Windsor Arena, May 21st through the 23rd. Shows on Friday at 7.30 p.m., Saturday at 10.30 a.m., 2.30 in the afternoon and 7.30 p.m., and Sunday at 2.30 and 7.30 p.m. Come out and support Windsor Club 240 and keep kids in sports. A Ford of Canada vice president says the UAW must make concessions or make picket signs. But the Auto Workers Union has again flatly rejected the idea. Brian Worrell has a report. Auto workers will not be following the lead of their U.S. counterparts. That was established this past weekend at the UAW bargaining conference in Toronto. The Canadian UAW says the auto companies should recognize that Canadian labor is $5 an hour cheaper than U.S. labor. And so, unlike American auto workers, the Canadians won't give up any money. In fact, the Canadians are asking for improved cost of living allowance, the customary 3% annual wage increase, and better pensions. Board of Canada Vice President Bill Mitchell has reacted to that stand by saying the company is losing a million dollars a day, and concessions are necessary to make Ford competitive on world markets. The UAW isn't impressed. Well, first of all, Mr. Mitchell doesn't participate at the bargaining table. He's not aware of what uh, negotiations are about. And I attribute that statement as being uh, irresponsible from a standpoint of labor union negotiations. What is the likelihood of a strike? The UAW and Ford's, uh, we intend to negotiate uh, without a confrontation in hopes that we can reach a, set, a settlement without a strike. UAW leaders appear determined to reject concessions, and company officials appear just as determined to force them through. But what about the people in the middle, the Ford Canada employees themselves? How do they feel? Go on strike. You're for it? Oh, sure. You won't accept concessions? Uh -huh. What for? We, we're ready. We're ready to go on strike. No concessions at all? None. What None. about Mr. Mitchell's statement? That's his statement, that's his feelings. We've got our feelings and we're sticking to them. Negotiations should start in July, and to avoid a strike, a solution must be found before the Ford UAW contract expires in mid-September. Brian Worrell, CBC News, Windsor. Foreign car sales in Canada were down for the month of April, but although the number of units sold dropped by more than 5,000, their share of the total market increased by 2% to 28%. Sales were down for all foreign manufacturers last month, except for Datsun. 
General Motors is offering free repairs to about 134,000 cars in Canada. About 1.5 million cars are affected in the United States. But the company will not term the offer a recall. The cars could develop oil seal leaks 